I have been in the past, I've been distracted lately. Some of you might know what's coming up within my life, so uh, we'll get a little bit of that. Um, uh, I do have two wonderful children. Uh, we adopted two daughters, Anna and Veronica. Um, Anna's four and a half, Veronica's three. Um, Veronica has actually has both, um, had a cran cranial hemorrhage at two days old, um, had to have two blood transfusions, and she was three months early already, so she was left with a condition called PPL and ultimately diagnosed with quadrispastic cerebral palsy. Um, she was supposed to have surgery in March. They've called us and said, hey, how about December uh, 7th? And then I said, well, that's kind of soon. They said, well, we can push it back to December 15th. Um, and she'll be in the hospital for a month. Um, so I'm going to be working out of there um, for over the holidays and through Christmas and New Year's. Um, so there's my big distraction here lately, is trying to get all that set up and organized. Um, a little bit about me, um, let's see, I've been married for 14 years to a wonderful Hawaiian lady, and we get to go see, visit her family in Hawaii every few years, whether we want to or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, let's see, I started out uh, probably in 96 or 97 doing freelance graphic artwork. Um, started out, my first client was AutoZone. Um, I would do stuff for the commercial accounts division. Um, ultimately, I ended up going to college. Um, I decided I hated working manual labor for a living, which I had done a lot of when I was growing up in a construction family. And I uh, went to college at Fort Southern, got a bachelor's um, in graphic arts. Started out as a fine arts major. I spent three years doing studio arts, painting, drawing, illustration, that type of thing. So that's where my comfort lies, and it's what sets me apart from a lot of the other artists and designers out there. Um, my approach is a little different because I have that background and that mindset. Um, I started out, uh, my first company I was working with was a company in Lakeland uh, called Douglas Screen Printers. Um, they uh, actually helped me get the ground running with all the graphic arts aspects of it. I uh, learned a lot there. learned a lot about quality control. learned a lot about scheduling. Um, I was able to implement a digital print department there. And uh, vehicle wraps were the new big thing at the time. And we were trying to figure out, well, how do we do vehicle wraps? So I got to learn that and teach myself how to do it from start to finish from the design aspect all the way to the installation. Um, so that's another thing that sets me apart from a lot of the other designers is I haven't just created the artwork, I've had to put it on the vehicle and make sure that everything flows right around the corners and the edges of the cars. Um, I later got an opportunity with a company, Tampa, to become an art director. Um, managed their department with about five or six artists, I think it was at our peak. And um, that was a great experience too. Um, they were completely unorganized. And everything was absolutely last minute rush. So after five and a half years of that, I'm used to, hey, I need this now. Um, I learned to create a lot of miracles at that place, um, taking four color images and making them print three color spot, uh, which is tricky at best. Um, but uh, I learned, so I got some great relationships out of that. Uh, I learned how to be a printer, to pre flight your files, and to, uh, to fix anything that might be wrong before it goes to press. Um, in, in 08, um, I, with the birth of Veronica, uh, my wife and I decided to take the freelance aspect that I had been doing, and I moved that to my own company. Uh, got my business license, started Rat Creative Services, which actually stands for Ray and Tammy's Creative Services, um, because my wife, even in college, was a sounding board for a lot of my ideas. Um, I would come up with stuff, she would say, okay, that's too intellectual, that's too artsy, nobody's going to get it. Um, she was an elementary school teacher, so I figured she's a good sounding board for the average person. Um, so um, I, she's a, an integral part of the creative process and the ideas that I come up with. She keeps me grounded um, and helps give you guys um, quality pieces. Um, she's also my proofreader, um, because as a school teacher, she's very anal retentive about grammar and punctuation and context. Um, if I have a dangling participle, I get reprimanded for it. Uh, <laughs> so, so one of the great things about, about what I do um, is I do have experience as not just a designer, but as a printer. Um, like I said, I know when I come up with your designs, I think about production. I think about the guy next in line, and the guy after that, and the guy after that, to get you to your finished piece. A lot of these designers, they'll just come up with something that looks great on screen, but then when it goes to press, the, uh, there's a pre-flight guy who has to fix all the problems that the designer created. They don't understand trapping, which is how to let colors overlap one another so that you don't have white spaces in your print fill. 
they have all these extra stuff that doesn't even need to belong in the graphic, making your file three times larger than it needs to be, um, and then it takes the printer that much more time to actually produce the piece. Um, I've been there, I've been the guy to fix all that, so when I design something from the beginning, um, it makes it easier and cheaper for you, the end user, in the long run, because you're not paying for a press guy to have to go in and fix your artwork. Uh, I also uh, keep in mind the future uses of, of the stuff that you're going to be. Right now, you might be looking for a business card or a rack card or a small pamphlet, but who knows what you're going to need in the future. You might end up needing a, a, be a, a sponsor for an event and need a large banner. Okay, well, if somebody's designed something, a little JPEG image for a business card or a rack card, that's not going to scale up to a banner. I still look good. It's going to look horrible. When I design your piece, I make sure that it's scalable. Uh, I make sure that for future uses, it's already designed and built into the file so that you don't have to worry about paying again for another redesign. Uh, I've worked, uh, well, the great thing with me is that I am the artist and I am the salesperson. So you don't have to worry about translation errors from a guy, from a salesperson, who doesn't know the art aspect of it. You're dealing with me, uh, I understand what's going to happen, what's going to talk, how we're going to talk about, and uh, I can help guide you. Um, I have all the tools, I have a large um, stock photography catalog and those things that I don't have on file. Um, I belong to several wonderful stock photography services. Um, I can get you some great pieces at reasonable prices uh, and it's for you to use. Um, i have uh, well versed in pretty much all the industry standard software. The biggie right now is the Adobe Suite, which a lot of you may have heard of Photoshop, Illustrator, Acrobat, InDesign. Um, for me, these are all just basically one massive program. I work seamlessly throughout all of them. Uh, I've worked for various types of clientele. I've done a lot of work for uh, the U.S. government, uh, federal government, uh, customs. I helped implement Homeland Security uh, by being providing a lot of the original graphics and decals when uh, after 9/11 hit. Uh, I've worked with NASA. I've worked with the. Uh, Nuclear Energy Commission, um, and done a lot of other great stuff. Uh, I've done work for City of Lakeland as well as Special Olympics, um, and uh, I've enjoyed every bit of it. I love what I do. I love the creative aspect of it, and uh, it's nice being able, my own boss, because I can present my ideas, and I have to worry about somebody else. Just well, just don't worry about it. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. I understand it. I do understand uh, quick turnarounds. Uh, some people are comfortable with, well, whenever you get it, it's fine. And that's great. I love those. They're nice to have a few of those. But if you have a last-minute crisis, um, I can fix that. I had a uh, case in point. Uh, it's a wonderful B&I relationship story. Um, one day, one of Brian's clients uh, was having some issue with an artist. She had paid for everything up front, and um, the artist that they had hired was not giving her um, the stuff she had paid for. And she was in real commercial real estate, and she said she was about to lose $20,000 in commission because this artist did not deliver the signage that he had promised and she had paid for. Um, so she goes, I need something now. Uh, no problem. I said, do you have the art? She said, no, all I have is this little JPEG proof. So I rebuilt the file, um, called, uh, I'll give John Weber, the sign parrot, because he used to belong to this chapter. Called John. I said, John, um, I said, here's my situation. I need this yesterday. So how fast can you get it produced? He goes, you can pick it up in the morning. Um, so uh, that a great, great B&I relationship. She called back to me when she got the sign. was ecstatic. She said it looked better than the other guy's artwork. Um, and in fact, she's decided that the, the entire office is now my client. And there are 50 realtors in that office. <laughs> they're moving from commercial transitioning into residential real estate. And so they're going to have all the new signage that goes with that. She's been passed on to me two other uh, tier clients. Um, so all because of B&I and the wonderful thing that uh, happened with the relationships I formed here. Um, a great referral for me. Uh, like I said, I will be spending about a month in the hospital over the holidays, me and my laptop. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to be bored stiff while my daughter spends a lot of time in physical therapy and rehab. So uh, anything you have ideas uh, you want to send my way, please. Uh, don't hesitate, just give me a call, shoot me an email, something, we can sit down, we can discuss it, and um, I'll give you something great and fantastic that will make you look wonderful to your clients. I'm Ray Avery, Rack Creative Services. Thank you.